It's very exciting to bring history to life. And that's a hard thing to do. All of the components that create a car need to not only look the part, but they also need to work in harmony. They need to fit within that body with no compromise to the design. And the one area that just seems to be stuck in the dark ages is the metal shaping. I mean, we're still shaping metal the way the guys did those armored suits. So just in time of making this visionary engineer, Preston Tucker's mythical car, along comes figure. Preston Tucker was a visionary, and if you're a car person, you know about him and you have studied the things that he did. He was everybody's hero. After World War II, my great-grandfather Preston Tucker started a company called the Tucker Corporation in which they developed a car called the Tucker 48. They called it the car of tomorrow today. He took advantage of public interest in a new automobile after World War II, and delivering what people really wanted in a car that was safe, it had performance, it was affordable, you could use it with your family. So Preston Tucker was really 20 years ahead of most of the innovation that was happening at the day. My grandfather was a dealer for Tucker. He bought a dealership in New York. And for the rest of his life, he talked about how exciting that was. How many people came to the showroom, put orders in, expected to get a car that was like no other. But that didn't happen. Unfortunately, his company was destroyed and went bankrupt at that time. After the 50 cars were made, the factory was closed down and Tucker was out of business. So a normal person maybe would have been fairly discouraged, but Preston Tucker decided that he was just gonna work on his next new big idea, which was the Tucker Carioca. It's a boat tail fuselage, two-seater, motorcycle fenders, exposed wheels, rear air-cooled engine. So the Tucker Carioca is a kind of a neat little fast two-door sports car that was inexpensive and had all the things that people were looking for. Unfortunately, he died before the project was really able to get out of the industrial design phase. The Carioca is the manifestation of his last design, his last concept. So the Ida family has been involved in Tucker since the beginning. The love for the car and the product and Preston Tucker's ideas stayed in the family and it's been a part of who we are. We have a custom shop here in New Jersey where we custom make vehicles, hot rods and other concept cars. And we've decided that it would be a lifelong dream to own and create the Tucker Carioca car. And thanks to Figure and the CNC magic of metal shaping, we'll be getting there a lot quicker. The modern equipment that's available today from the Figure folks with sheet metal forming allow us to take some of these concepts from the past and actually turn them into tangible things rather than you know just designs on paper. The Figure machine is absolutely genius. What it's doing, it's using a high pressure tool that is pushing down on the sheet metal against the silicone backing. With that high pressure, it's pushing and it's creating the parameter of the shape. And then it keeps pushing down, stepping down, stepping down, stepping down until you have a fully shaped three-dimensional contour. That is up to 16 inches of depth and in minutes with a surface that is ready for paint. We're looking at the left front fender of the Tucker Karaoke, and I made this by hand. And this part took me nearly 40 hours to make and finish. And the figure version of this fender was made in less than one hour. And it's made with draft so that the part can be fabricated, cut out, and later welded into one piece. In the Karaoke, there are some really challenging panels. The perfect one is the nose. It's kind of a pointed nose. It has a headlight in it. And to make that out of sheet metal by hand would be ridiculously challenging. And if you could see, this part fits the buck nearly perfect. And it was made in 35 minutes. 
the figure technology can shortcut that and make it easier for Rob to use his talents to put the whole thing together and make it look great. I've heard some people say, oh, this figure machine is going to put metal shapers out of business. And I don't think that's true at all. In fact, I think it'll increase the need for talented metal shapers. Because as we know, the figure machine can shape a part. But then after that process is complete, that part then will require a talented metal shaper to be able to weld and attach and fit to the next piece. If you're trying to run a business and you need to hand a customer a bill that also makes sense to you, efficiency is key. Quality needs to be number one. It needs to be done in a timely fashion. It needs to be consistent. And hand shaping one side, making the other side look just like it, that becomes a challenge. On a figure machine, we can simply mirror the program. Preston Tucker was always looking for the next best thing. So I think if, if he had these innovative tools we have, he would have fully embraced them. Tucker was a visionary. And he was often criticized because he was so far ahead of his time. This is right up his alley. He loses his mind to have the availability of technology like this. If he could have had a figure machine in his shop, he would have. He was looking for ways to do things faster and better. And that's just what the figure machine will do for us. To have a little part of bringing what Tucker wanted to do in the 50s to fruition makes us feel like we're a part of history. And it's incredible to have technology like Figure help us bring history to life.